This is the best method to present yourself with absolute confidence in front of any audience. And guess what? You can start applying it within the next 10 minutes after finishing up this video. So I'm going to lay out the three steps Hollywood stars follow when they step up to speak in public. These three steps are going to be your go to moves, whether you're talking with friends or strangers, giving a presentation, speaking in class or rallying your work crew and stick around till the end because I've got two bonuses for you that'll turbocharge the concepts you're going to learn today. So here's the lowdown. First off, you got to connect with your friends before you tackle the audience. Now, to give you the scoop, check out this clip of Robert Downey Jr. and pay attention to what he does after winning the award. Robert Downey Jr. for Oppenheimer. Connecting with your group before the audience helps you shake off that initial stage fright we all feel. It gets you warmed up and strutting confidently right out the gate. Notice how Robert first gives a shout out to his wife, then glances at his table and vibes with them. It's a power move that shows his group comes first. He's not there to please everyone or worry about what they think of him. He's there for his friends and that's why he gives them props first. You can see the same vibe with Tillian Murphy after bagging the BAFTA for best actor in Oppenheimer. So if you're about to speak in public and you've got your crew with you, make sure to interact with them before you dive into your spiel. Give them a hug, shake their hands, throw them a smile or whatever feels natural to get you in the zone. This will put you in the right headspace and you'll flow better when you start speaking. If you don't have any friends nearby, scope out people in the audience you can talk with before you hit the stage. It's easy to strike up a conversation because you both have something in common you're both at the same event. The key here is to have at least a little interaction so you don't hit the stage ice cold. A little pre-show confidence boost works wonders for your performance. Now, if you're gearing up to give a presentation and you're clueless about how to win folks over, here's my top tip. Start using your hands when you talk. Hands play a starring role in projecting confidence. They're the first thing our brains clock when we're talking with someone new. Showing your hands signals you've got nothing to hide. For example, check out Cillian's body language in this clip. Nerves are showing, but look at the confidence he exudes when he uses his hands to mention his coworkers. I want to thank Adam Schweitzer, David Weber, Craig Banke, Tom Reed, Luke Coulson, all the Julies. You are the best. Um, I want to thank my fellow nominees and my up and homies. That was a, that was a rhyme. If you're shy, start with your hands and watch your confidence grow bit by bit. And if you want to take your hand game up a notch, make sure to gesture along with every interesting point you make. Check out this clip of Robert sharing an anecdote about Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep came over and I wasn't creeping out, but I was just like talking to her and like feeling the consistency of her dress shoulder, like downloading the data. Cause it was a moment. Oh, there you are. Oh yeah, you really are, huh? Oh my God. Yeah. If you're talking about playing guitar, mimic playing guitar with your hands. If you're talking about running, gesture like you're running. You'll be amazed at the results you get just by making this small change. So you've got the warm up and confidence game down. Now, how do you kick things off? Well, if you saw the Oscars, you'd have noticed none of the winners start their speeches by introducing themselves or thanking everyone for the opportunity. Same goes for you. If protocol doesn't demand it, never start with thank yous. Instead, ask yourself, how can I grab my audience's attention? Robert's a pro at this. Check it out. Yeah, yeah. I took a beta blocker, so this is going to be a breeze. I think uh, Bob, Ryan, Charles, and Mark would join me in uh, welcoming Sterling K to the mix. Another challenger has entered the octagon. Why me? Why now? Why do things seem to be going my way? You can kick off your speech with a famous quote, throw out a thought-provoking question, 
drop a mind-blowing stat, or share a personal story related to your main topic. The key is to keep grabbing your audience's attention throughout. Now, when you're presenting, make sure to stick to developing only three ideas. Don't fall into the trap of thinking the more info you throw out, the more interesting you'll be. It's actually the opposite. According to Harvard University, people tend to remember only three to five ideas in a 30-minute presentation. It's better to have them remember a little than forget a lot. Grab a sheet and jot down your three strongest, most engaging, or most sellable arguments and stick to talking about them. And when it's time to wrap up, make sure your audience knows it. I like to use a line like, and finally, I'd like to, and deliver the final message. I'll drop two of my favorite TED Talks in the description for you to use as guides. Now let's dive into two bonuses that'll bring out your best when speaking in public. First up, stop stressing about impressing them. What they'll value most is how comfortable you are in the spotlight. If you try too hard to project something you're not, your discomfort will be obvious and you'll pass it on to the audience because emotions are contagious. In other words, don't try to be super serious if you're not serious and don't try to be funny if you're not funny. Check out how Cillian, Robert and Emily Blunt introduce themselves and greet the interviewer. They each do it differently based on their personalities. Killian's introverted, so he keeps the moves subtle. Straight to the point, stands tall, makes eye contact, and gives a slight smile. Emily's much warmer, goes in for a hug, and keeps that smile going. And Robert, being the most extroverted, busts out some dance moves, goes in for the hug, and plays with the crowd. All three introduce themselves properly and feel genuine. That's what you're aiming for. Just hit up your friends or family and ask them what they love most about your personality. The more feedback, the better. Then focus on those strengths. Robert, for example, is great at cracking jokes, especially about himself. Chris Nolan suggested I attempt an understated uh, approach as a last ditch effort to perhaps resurrect my dwindling credibility. And Killian prefers to step out of the spotlight and shine a light on others. I don't really like talking about myself. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about other people if that's okay. Find the qualities that make you come across as genuine and play those up in your speech. This is so important that one of the modules in my course, Super Conversations, focuses exclusively on helping my clients develop a charming personality, highlighting their strengths and vulnerability to connect with people. Now, on to the next bonus, which is all about your image. Your image is key when it comes to speaking in public. People judge you by how you dress, especially if you're in the spotlight. Depending on the event's formality, you might not need to wear a suit, but it's always crucial to look clean, sharp, and professional. Or if you're just hanging out with interesting folks or friends you want to impress, rock your best threads dress to impress. As the saying goes, when you look good, you feel good. The secret is to strike a balance between feeling comfortable while dressing a notch above your norm. And one quick and easy way to do this is with the colors you choose. Colors say a lot about your personality. If you want to project authority and power, go for black. If you want to convey credibility, go for brown. If you're aiming for peace and tranquility, white's your color. If you want to look more sophisticated, go for gray. And if you're looking to highlight your professionalism, prioritize blue. Here you can see Robert wearing a gray jacket and a black shirt. Authority and serenity. And here he is with a blue jacket and a pink shirt. Blue exudes confidence and pink gentleness. Now the ball's in your court. Choose the emotion you want to convey with your presentation, pick the color that fits best, and you'll win over your audience. Now that you know these three steps and the bonuses, here's the most important part, preparation. Remember, speaking in public is a skill, and practice is the mother of all skills. Hope you love this video. Remember, you're awesome. See you in the next one.